All right, here we go. Imagine you're sitting with me by a crackling fire, and I'm about to share with you a moment from my life that changed everything. It was a regular afternoon, nothing out of the ordinary. I was in my room, lost in my own world, enjoying a moment of solitude. Little did I know fate had other plans for me that day. Suddenly, I heard the sound of laughter echoing down the hallway. Curious, I peered out of my door to see what the commotion was about. To my horror, I saw my sister's best friend Sarah standing there with a mischievous grin on her face. I froze in place, my heart pounding in my chest, as I realized the predicament I was in. You see, I wasn't exactly dressed in typical attire for a young man. Instead, I was adorned in delicate pink lingerie, a secret indulgence I had never intended anyone to discover. Sarah's eyes widened in surprise as they landed on me, taking in the sight before her. I felt a wave of intense embarrassment wash over me, my cheeks burning crimson as I struggled to find the words to explain myself. But before I could utter a single syllable, Sarah's laughter filled the room, mocking and taunting me. I wanted nothing more than to disappear in that moment, to erase the image of myself clad in pink from Sarah's memory. But alas, there was no escaping the reality of the situation. I stood there, vulnerable and exposed, as Sarah's laughter pierced through me like a dagger. That moment felt like an eternity, frozen in time as I grappled with the shame of being caught in such a compromising position. It was a humiliating experience, one that I never imagined I would have to endure. But little did I know, it was only the beginning of a journey that would change my life forever. As I stood there, frozen in embarrassment, I desperately tried to find the right words to explain myself. Panic surged through me like a tidal wave, rendering me speechless as I struggled to articulate the whirlwind of emotions raging inside me. But no matter how hard I tried, the words eluded me, slipping through my grasp like grains of sand. Sarah's laughter echoed in my ears, each mocking peal piercing through the fragile facade of my composure. Her teasing nickname, Pathetic Pansy, struck a chord deep within me, igniting a firestorm of shame and self-doubt. In that moment, I felt like a small, insignificant creature, exposed and vulnerable to the harsh scrutiny of the world. The weight of Sarah's laughter bore down on me, crushing me beneath its suffocating pressure. I longed to disappear, to escape the piercing gaze of her judgmental eyes, but as much as I wished for the ground to swallow me whole, there was no escaping the reality of the situation. I had been caught, exposed in my most vulnerable state, and there was no turning back. The realization hit me like a ton of bricks, leaving me reeling in its wake. I wanted to scream, to lash out in anger and frustration at the injustice of it all. But deep down, I knew that would only make things worse. So instead, I stood there in silence, my heart heavy with the weight of my humiliation. In that moment of vulnerability, I felt utterly alone, adrift in a sea of judgment and ridicule. But little did I know, this moment would be the catalyst for a journey of self-discovery and acceptance unlike anything I had ever imagined. With my heart pounding and my cheeks burning with shame, I mustered the courage to speak, my voice trembling as I pleaded with Sarah to keep my secret. Please, Sarah, I begged, my words barely above a whisper. You can't tell anyone about this. Please, I'm begging you. Every fiber of my being trembled with fear as I awaited her response. I knew that if word got out about my secret cross-dressing, it would be the end of life as I knew it. The thought of facing the ridicule and judgment of my family and friends was too much to bear. Sarah regarded me with a mixture of amusement and curiosity, her expression unreadable as she contemplated my plea. For a moment, the room seemed to hang in suspended silence, the weight of my secret pressing down on me like a suffocating blanket. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Sarah spoke, her voice soft but firm. I won't tell anyone, she promised, her eyes meeting mine with a newfound seriousness. Your secret is safe with me. Relief washed over me like a tidal wave, flooding my senses with a sense of gratitude and disbelief. In that moment, Sarah became my lifeline, my savior in a sea of uncertainty and fear. 
With a heavy sigh, I collapsed onto the nearest chair, the weight of the world lifted from my shoulders. Though the fear of being exposed still lingered in the back of my mind, for now, I could breathe a little easier knowing that Sarah had agreed to keep my secret. Little did I know, this moment of vulnerability would be the beginning of a journey that would challenge everything I thought I knew about myself and the world around me. But for now, in this fleeting moment of reprieve, I allowed myself to bask in the warm glow of Sarah's understanding and acceptance. As Sarah looked at me, her initial amusement faded, replaced by a glimmer of understanding and empathy. I could see the shift in her expression, the laughter in her eyes dimming as she took in the distress etched across my face. For a moment, we simply gazed at each other in silence, the weight of my secret hanging heavy in the air between us. Then, to my surprise, Sarah spoke, her voice soft and gentle. I get it, she said simply, her tone devoid of judgment or ridicule. I won't tell anyone, I promise. Her words washed over me like a soothing balm, easing the tension that had coiled tight in my chest. In that moment, Sarah's acceptance meant more to me than she could ever know. With a grateful nod, I managed a weak smile, feeling a sense of relief wash over me like a warm tide. Though I knew the danger of my secret being exposed still loomed on the horizon, for now I allowed myself to savor the momentary reprieve that Sarah's understanding had afforded me. As she turned to leave, I couldn't help but feel a sense of gratitude and newfound respect for her. In a world that often felt cold and unforgiving, Sarah had shown me kindness and acceptance when I needed it most. Little did I know, this unexpected moment of connection would be the beginning of a journey that would challenge everything I thought I knew about myself and the world around me. But for now, in this fleeting moment of understanding, I allowed myself to bask in the warm glow of Sarah's compassion. As days turned into weeks and weeks into months, Sarah and I found ourselves drawn together by the unspoken bond forged in the aftermath of that fateful encounter. What started as a shared secret soon blossomed into something deeper, something more profound than either of us could have anticipated. Despite the initial awkwardness and uncertainty that hung between us like a veil, we gradually began to open up to one another, sharing our hopes, fears, and dreams in a way that felt both liberating and terrifying. For me, Sarah became more than just the keeper of my secret. She became a confidant, a source of strength and support in a world that often felt hostile and unforgiving. In her presence, I found solace and acceptance, a rare sanctuary where I could be myself without fear of judgment or ridicule. And in turn, I watched as Sarah's own walls began to crumble revealing the vulnerable heart that lay hidden beneath her tough exterior. With each passing day, our bond deepened, fueled by a mutual understanding and acceptance that transcended the boundaries of friendship. Together, we navigated the complexities of our shared secret, finding comfort in the knowledge that we were not alone in our struggles. Through late-night conversations and stolen moments of laughter, we forged a connection that defied logic and reason, binding us together in ways neither of us could have predicted. As the days turned into months and our friendship continued to grow, I realized that Sarah had become more than just a friend. She had become a lifeline, a beacon of light in the darkness of my uncertainty. And though I knew that our journey was far from over, I took comfort in the knowledge that as long as we had each other, we could weather any storm that came our way. Despite Sarah's reassuring words and our growing bond, a gnawing sense of paranoia and anxiety continued to plague me like a relentless shadow. With each passing day, the fear of being exposed gnawed away at my sanity, threatening to unravel the fragile facade of normalcy that I had worked so hard to maintain. Every creak of the floorboards, every whisper in the hallway sent my heart racing with dread, filling me with a sense of impending doom that I couldn't shake. The weight of my secret hung heavy around my neck, suffocating me with its suffocating grip as I struggled to navigate the treacherous waters of societal expectations and self-acceptance. Caught between the desire to embrace my true self and the fear of societal backlash, I found myself torn apart by conflicting emotions that threatened to consume me whole. 
How could I reconcile the burning desire to cross-dress with the rigid expectations of a world that refused to understand? In the dead of night, when sleep eluded me and the demons of doubt whispered in my ear, I found myself grappling with questions that had no easy answers. Was I doomed to live a life of secrecy and shame, forever hiding behind a mask of false pretense? Or could I find the courage to embrace my true self, despite the risk of rejection and scorn? As the days stretched into weeks and my inner turmoil reached a fever pitch, I realized that the path to self-acceptance would be fraught with obstacles and challenges. But deep down, I knew that I couldn't continue to deny the truth that burned brightly within me, yearning to break free from the confines of societal norms and expectations. And so, with a heavy heart and a determined spirit, I resolved to confront my fears head on, knowing that the journey to self-acceptance would be long and arduous, but ultimately worth it in the end. For in the end, I refused to let fear dictate the course of my life, determined to forge my own path, no matter the cost. As I began to find a fragile sense of comfort within the sanctuary of my friendship with Sarah, fate threw a cruel twist into the delicate balance of my life. It happened on an ordinary afternoon, much like the one when Sarah had stumbled upon my secret. But this time, the stakes were higher, the consequences more dire. I had just returned home from a mundane errand, my mind preoccupied with thoughts of the upcoming weekend. Little did I know as I stepped through the threshold of my front door that my carefully constructed world was about to come crashing down around me. As I made my way through the familiar halls of my home, a sense of unease prickled at the edges of my consciousness, warning me of impending danger. And then, just as I rounded the corner into the living room, I saw him standing there, a look of shock and disbelief etched across his face. It was John, an acquaintance from work, someone I had never expected to see in my home, let alone under such compromising circumstances. In that moment, time seemed to stand still as our eyes locked in a silent battle of wills, each of us grappling with the gravity of the situation unfolding before us. I could feel the color draining from my face as I struggled to find the words to explain myself, to justify the secret that I had worked so hard to keep hidden from the world. But try as I might, the words refused to come, leaving me standing there in stunned silence as John's accusatory gaze bore down on me like a weighty burden. And then, as if on cue, the realization dawned on him, the pieces of the puzzle falling into place with chilling clarity. In an instant, my carefully guarded secret was laid bare before him, exposed for all the world to see. For a moment, the world seemed to tilt on its axis as the full weight of the consequences crashed down upon me like a tidal wave. I knew that my life would never be the same again, that the facade of normalcy that I had worked so hard to maintain was now irreparably shattered. But even in the midst of my despair, a flicker of defiance ignited within me, a stubborn refusal to let fear dictate the course of my life. With Sarah's unwavering support and the strength of my own convictions, I knew that I could face whatever challenges lay ahead, no matter how daunting they may seem. And so, with a determined resolve and a newfound sense of purpose, I made a choice in that fateful moment to embrace my true self, regardless of the consequences, and to live my life authentically, unapologetically, and without regrets. For in the end, it was not the judgments of others that defined me, but the courage to be true to myself, no matter the cost. As the weight of John's discovery settled over me like a suffocating blanket, I felt a surge of panic threatening to consume me whole. Every instinct screamed at me to deny the truth, to retreat back into the safety of the shadows and pretend that nothing had changed. But deep down, beneath the layers of fear and uncertainty, a small voice whispered a different truth, one that I had spent a lifetime ignoring. With Sarah's unwavering support echoing in my ears, I made a choice, a choice to stand tall in the face of adversity, to confront my fears head on, and to embrace the truth of who I was unapologetically and without reservation. Taking a deep breath, I turned to face John, 
my voice steady and resolute as I spoke the words that would change everything. Yes, it's true, I confessed, my heart pounding in my chest as I braced myself for his reaction. I am a crossdresser. The silence that followed was deafening, broken only by the sound of my own ragged breathing. For a moment it felt as if the world had stopped spinning, frozen in suspended animation as we stood there, two souls caught in the grip of an uncertain fate. And then, to my astonishment, John spoke, his voice filled with unexpected kindness and understanding. I may not understand it, he admitted, but I respect your courage in being true to yourself. With those words, a weight I hadn't even realized I was carrying lifted from my shoulders, replaced by a sense of freedom and acceptance that washed over me like a warm embrace. In that moment, I knew that I had made the right choice, that the journey to self-acceptance was worth every struggle and hardship along the way. And as the truth of my identity was revealed to the world, I discovered a newfound sense of liberation, a freedom to be myself, unapologetically and without reservation. For in the end, I learned that being true to oneself is the most important journey of all, a journey that begins with the courage to embrace the truth of who we are, no matter the cost. And with Sarah's support by my side, I knew that I could face whatever challenges lay ahead, secure in the knowledge that I was finally free to be me.